The Conservation Reserve Program was established in the mid-1980s to provide for permanent grassy cover on highly erodible farmland. Since then, about 36 million acres have been put into place in the United States, about 4 million acres in Texas, mostly in the Panhandle and South Plains. And we've seen significant improvement from a wildlife habitat standpoint because of these CRP lands. Landowners today are faced with the decision of whether or not to leave their land in, in CRP, and, and they, they need information about how to make that decision. Some of the big picture things to think about include uh, what impact might it have on their land value. Today, much of the land value is determined by wildlife production potential on that land. Uh, in fact, uh, ag use tax valuation can be shifted to wildlife use tax valuation for the benefit of the landowner. You may also think about the fact that that uh, rangeland may be the best uh, use for that since it was marginal farmland to begin with. The two basic alternatives, of course, are to leave it in grass or break it back out and farm it again. If you do farm it again, you'll see a significant decrease in wildlife production, of course. You may think about things like leaving grass around that field, leaving grass along waterways or drainages, and also grass around playas if you have some on your place. If you decide to leave it in grass, you can leave it unmodified. You'll probably see brush encroachment through time in some parts of the state more so than others. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the, its usefulness to wildlife will be affected by that. Some species like deer prefer dense brush. Some like quail and, and lesser prairie chickens prefer less brush. If you want to enhance it for wildlife, consider your grazing management. And uh, by that I mean don't remove more than 25% of the year's production. Think about uh, a brush management that would favor the species that's your priority. Uh, you, by, and you can use uh, prescribed fire, you could use mechanical means, herbicide, and so forth, maybe with a, a brush sculpting approach. Also, think about things like uh, disking in the fall and winter to enhance forb production, interceding of, of forbs within the, the grass. Uh, you may even add other grass species. Some CRP fields have an, only one species of grass, so more species of grass would benefit wildlife. So as CRP has, through the years, provided a lot of benefits to wildlife. We can maintain those benefits if we keep the country in grass and at the same time possibly increase the real estate value as well as provide for some wildlife-related enterprises to the operation. If you'd like more information about this issue, Go to uh, agrilifebookstore.org on the web, use the keyword CRP, and you'll see three publications there that deal with this issue.